Hey, it's Tori, and welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> today we welcome Blotha the Berserker to the channel. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm wonderful. <laughs> and how are you? I'm doing good. It's nice to chat with you. Oh, yeah, it's nice to chat with you too. <laughs> So the reason you're here is because obviously you have just announced your Age of Entitlement tour, which is kicking off on June 7th. Your June dates of feature, of course, support from Weed Eater, X Cops and Squid Pisser. And then you've got September dates, which feature support from, is it Br Brugeria? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, I think it's uh, Brugeria, yes. Okay. Brat and Cancer Christ. So how come you guys decided to like split the tour in two is that just so that you guys could have more support from different bands or is that just because august is like hot as balls over here <laughs> yes we wanted to sweat with brujeria no i i i think that that it's uh it, it's more because generally a band can't last on the road with guar longer than you know a couple of weeks after that they are overcome by the smell and the sheer uh, weight of our presence, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we could say that, or we could say that, you know, we get bored easily. We want somebody out with us that we want to see every night. So we change it up, uh, you know, just to keep things fresh. Yeah. No, it, it's cool that you guys have got like six different support bands coming with you and, and to split it into. It also gives, like you say, it's just something fresh because if it's just all in one run, then, you know, you just like, I'm fed up with you now. Let's hear somebody else. It, it makes sense. That's that's exactly <laughs> right. Fed up. We get fed up very easily. <laughs> so your live shows are like more like going to see a heavy metal theatre show. And for people who haven't seen you live without giving too much away, because obviously we don't want any spoilers, how would you personally like describe your set? Well, you know, we come out on stage and we are attacked by various enemies of the band. I mean, Guar, Guar is a, a rock and roll, shock rock theater production. Uh, and it, and it, really is, uh, it really is a, a narrative uh, from the beginning to end. And people watch it and, uh, and usually they don't survive. But uh, <laughs> were they to survive, they would tell you it's the greatest show that they've ever seen in their short and miserable lives. Uh, generally, we come out and are attacked on stage by our enemies, uh, and we have a theme for every show. Uh, I think on this tour, I don't know. I mean, we may even wind up killing Taylor Swift. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, why why not, right? Yes, why not? How do you guys go about choosing who you guys want to, like, kill on stage? Well, uh... I mean, we don't really choose. They just kind of show up, wander in. And I mean, for instance, Donald Trump, he he wouldn't go away. We've probably killed him, I don't know, several hundred times. He just <laughs> won't die. Uh, <laughs> but uh, really, you know, I, I mean, to be honest with you, we sit and we think about, you know, wh what is the most ridiculous thing that we could do on stage? And then we just do it. Yeah. And you cover in people in blood and all kinds of things at the same time while doing it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, so, a lot of a lot of, of, of fluids are 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 dispersed during a gua show. So that is one thing that people can expect is that if they get close, they're going to be part of the show, literally. Yeah. So don't wear anything that you like you don't want to get ruined. Just wear like whatever because you're gonna come out just covered head to toe. Yeah, we encourage people to just come naked. <laughs> so how, of course, with these big, like, basically theater productions every single night, how do you guys keep that energy level up for every night? Well, you know, uh, the simple answer is crack cocaine. Fair. In a Fair. word. <laughs> Or two words. Drugs yeah. and alcohol, basically. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, less less alcohol and uh, more uh, more crack. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. 
So how do you guys go about deciding? Because obviously Gwar has been around for a very long time. How do you guys decide what songs you put on the set list? Well, I, it is true that we have a massive catalog. Uh, and generally, we, we just go through and, and uh, it's because it is a theatrical production, over the years, we, we're fortunate to have uh, a long list of songs with topics and with uh, particular sounds that fit into our narrative. I mean, Guar definitely is, uh, as I said, a theatrical production. And uh, we we select our songs generally because they advance some uh, aspect of the narrative that we want to tell. Yeah. I've seen, a co- like, I've never been to a Guar show yet, but Ooh. I've seen some performances online. And it, it, just from start to the end, you guys are just on it all the time. And it to do that through, I understand why you do split it and, like, take a break in the middle. Yeah, I mean, Guar does, uh, we, we <laughs> whereas other bands tend to just walk out on stage and, I don't know, it's like they, it's like they don't even try. You know, Guar, we try. We're trying hard right. all the time. <laughs> so, if... <laughs> You've got the off chance of maybe having a day off from tour. What is it that you're doing with that day off? Well, generally we park next to an abandoned mall and walk around sipping orange Julius's and (laughs) riding those little carts that people take, you know, the the, the little tiny uh, sort of handicapped person carts. We ride those a lot. Uh, Rascals, I believe they call them. We have rascal races in the abandoned mall on our days off. That sounds like fun. Can I come? Yeah, or, yeah we go to a chug and tug or some such place. <laughs> so you guys also just got done with your North American Age of Befuddlement tour. How was that for you guys? Do you guys have any memories that stick out from that tour? Well, uh, I've got a lot of things that stick out. <laughs> Uh, especially memories. Oh, memories. Well, uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, it was it was a fairly. We went to Canada, you know, and and you know how fascinating Canada is. So of course, uh, we accumulated uh, quite the collection of weird candy that you can't buy here in the states. Uh, mm-hmm. And what else did we get? Um, we had some good milk. Uh, and, uh, you know, we had some great bacon, a lot, a lot of Canadian bacon. And we met a lot of, we met a lot of very nice people. That's good. I do I like think that's what you would expect me to say, but, but it's true. You know, Canada is a great nation. Yeah. I've never been, I've always wanted to go and visit. It's good. It's good. It's cold. It's really cold. That yeah. probably is what sticks out is that we were, <laughs> We were basically frozen every night. Yeah. Oh, I'm used to, I'm from England, so I'm used to the cold, but not quite that cold. No, no. And it's, uh, you know, it's not as rainy there. Although we did play in London, uh, mm-hmm. which, is, uh, you know, of course it was the Canadian London. Right. Uh, and after all, I mean, Canada is, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, they, they've got, they used to have pictures of the Queen on the money, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Until recently, she uh, decided to leave us all. I was like, I'm out of here. I'm done. Yes, it was truly sad. It was. But not before we, we got a hold of her. <laughs> so you also so happen to be celebrating your 10-year anniversary with the band this year. Will you, be, will you guys be doing anything special for that? Or anything in memory of the, the past singer? Or anything like that? Well, uh, I mean... I don't know if we're going to celebrate my personal anniversary, uh, but we may well mark uh, the 10 year anniversary of the passing mm-hmm. of great odorous Urungus. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we will, we will perform uh, a song specifically uh, for odorous every night uh, and, and perform a ritual where we basically beg him to return so that I can go back to just, you know, touching myself and watching television. I mean, yeah, he wouldn't want to do that. It's better than sweating your balls off up on stage every yeah, night. Right. <laughs> if I had to choose between being a rock and roll singer and, uh, you know, I don't know, 
sitting there and watching cricket on the tube with a handful of nutsack, you know what I would pick. Mm hmm I know what I would pick, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys, so, of course... I have to ask this. Are you guys working on new music for like a new album or anything like that? Well, of course we are. Yes, we're always working on new music. Uh, lately, we have been uh, working up a, 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 some particularly brutal heavy metal tunes, uh, which we're planning on putting out, uh, I think, in an EP. I don't know when that's, uh, w when that's scheduled for release, but we are working on some new material. Awesome. I can't wait to hear it. It's going to be amazing. So, of course, you guys, not long now until this tour. What are you looking forward to most about it? Well, it's always nice to uh, get out of the house, you know. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, in truth, what I'm looking forward to is simply throttling the feeling of, of a life draining from a body as your hands close on the throat. That's what I live for, is just the, the moment of taking human life. Yeah. What a beautiful thing it is. So that's as, what I always, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as puny humans coming to see you and just being in awe with you guys up on stage. Ah, well, you know, the, the, the adulation is boring at this point. Uh, you know, it's just like, 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 it's just like boobs, right? You, you go and mm -hmm. then everyone, oh, yeah, show me your boobs. We've had it with boobs. We've seen enough boobs. It's time to see some wiener. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Wiener, or like you say, just that moment of, of death and, yes. and the, the impending doom. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking forward to, wieners and death. <laughs> what a quote oh my god so i'm not going to keep you much longer of, of course because this is just about the tour do you have any last words for people watching this <laughs> well no but if you come see guar you will definitely have your last words <laughs> well there you have it guys blothar it was amazing to chat with you today of course i will leave all of those tour dates down in the description along with all the links where you can find guar and you can go and, uh, you know, have your last surviving day on this earth watching Guar. Yes, come see us. We look forward to it. Thank you, Blothar. Thank you. Bye, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to become a Torian. Speaking of becoming a Torian, all of my social media links and my Discord link are down in the description. We'd absolutely love to have you come hang out in the Discord community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.